I have a long form video planned on this topic exactly because it comes up a lot. Um, this user says, I read somewhere that bash not being at slash bin is actually less common than env or the env command not being at slash user bin. Um, this is in reference to uh, when it comes to bash scripts, I typically put the shebang at the top to be user bin env bash as opposed to slash bin slash bash. Now there's a couple different reasons for this. Um, people, th th there's, there's a lot of different reasons to do it this way, but this is what I'm gonna talk about in my long form video. Here, here's the shortened version. Um, I don't know if your bash lives at bin bash. I also don't know if your env lives at user bin env, but I don't want to hard code the path to bash. My intention is what I put in the shebang. My intention is that this will run with the bash interpreter that you have first on your system in your custom environment. So I state my intention in the shebang. That's what I try to do. That's the reason I end up with that because there's obvious examples of this. Like if I'm on my Mac, bin bash is there, but it's very old. The bash that I want to use lives somewhere else. It's going to live in the homebrew directory. So in my shebang, I enshrine my intention and my intention is to call the bash interpreter that exists in your system in your path first. That's why I do it that way. Um, I don't know what systems are going to have, like, you know, if we do like a statistical analysis, what systems are more likely to have bash and bin bash or env at user bin env. I think it depends on what systems you're seeing. Like, um, I deal with a lot of like niche operating systems. So, you know, dealing with like a Lumos based system, I run Omni OS at home. Um, bash is at bin bash, but for a long time it was user bin env bash. I know a lot of people who use Nix say that it's not in slash bin slash bash. Whereas if you're from like a Linux centric view of the world, it's probably always going to be at slash bin slash bash. Might be a hard link to dash or some other shell like that. Uh, so watch out for that. My point is, I don't know what system you're running it on. I, there's a couple reasons to do it, but at the end of the day, my final reason, my main reason for doing it the way that I'm doing it is at the top of my script, I'm basically saying, here's how I intend this to be run. I intend this to be executed with the version of bash that the user has first in their path. It's the best I can do. I can't enforce it. I'm not compiling this program. I'm giving you a shell script. So you got to run it as best you possibly can. Um, yeah. I hope